Thank you for watching this video. This video will show you in simple steps how to create and manipulate an influence diagram in DPL in order to frame a strategic business decision and gain key insights. People take to decision trees right away, but the benefits of an influence diagram tend to be more subtle. We'll start with a simple decision example. Should we produce a new product in-house or outsource production? I've already started to create our influence diagram. It currently contains three key uncertainties represented by light green ovals. They are market share, market size, and COGS, or costs of goods sold. The influence diagram also contains three value nodes, which are the blue rounded rectangles. Two of the value nodes use the outcome values associated with these uncertain variables. Revenues is market share, which is a percentage, times market size, which is in dollars. COGS are expressed as a percentage of my sales price, so profit is revenue times 1 minus COGS minus development costs. If we look at development cost data, we see it's a constant value of 14 million. The influence arcs, or black arrows, visually indicate the relationships between the nodes in the influence diagram. Now I'll show you how to add a node to represent the production decision. On the Model tab, I drop down the Add Node Split button and select Decision Node from the list, and then place it in the influence diagram. The Node Definition dialog opens when the node is placed. I'm going to name the node Production and specify two alternatives, In-House and Outsource. The production decision will affect the COGS uncertainty, so we'll edit the data for COGS by double-clicking the node. Now we click the Conditioning button and select Production Decision from the list. The numbers that we entered for COGS initially are for the in-house alternative, so it will cost between 45 and 60% of sales if we do it ourselves. With the conditioning in place, we now have a set of inputs available for the outsource decision alternative of COGS. While there is still some uncertainty for this alternative, the costs are lower overall. If we look at our influence diagram, you'll notice that DPL has added an arrow from the production decision node to the COGS uncertainty, indicating the conditioning we just identified. Now we'll run a decision analysis. As you can see, the outsource alternative here in green has both a higher profit and lower risk. Great. So are we done? No, not so fast. The production decision also affects our market share. Quality problems within the production process can lead to low market share, and unfortunately we've just learned that the company we intend to outsource production to is having quality control issues. We'll go ahead and define this additional dependence. In this case, the probabilities depend on the decision. This is called probabilistic dependence. And now we'll run an analysis. Outsource still looks better, but it's a closer call, and there's substantial downside risk. I'd like to point out that DPL has been building a symmetric decision tree for us as we modeled in the influence diagram. A DPL model is a combination of an influence diagram and decision tree. This is a unique and powerful mix of tools that can be used collectively to precisely model real-world problems. Generally, the influence diagram depicts the main factors and their relationships, while the decision tree provides a formal structure and indicates timing. Now, back to our influence diagram. Would it make any difference if we knew what the market size was before we made the production decision? Well, that's an easy answer to get in DPL. We simply draw an arc from market size to the production decision. This is a timing arc, not a conditioning arc. It tells DPL we'll know the market size outcome before we make the production decision, which is now shown in the updated decision tree. Let's see what the optimal decision policy is now by generating a policy tree. In this case, it doesn't matter. You can see by the bolded lines in the policy tree output that we prefer the outsourced decision policy at any market size. That's the end of this introduction to DPL's influence diagram. They are a simple yet powerful tool for framing and communicating real-world decision problems. Thank you for watching.